Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to convert this simple poster into a more interactive and more good looking one. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I just have this template. It doesn't show anything. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see that these are just main headings of our poster and it normally have these kind of uh, headings, abstract introduction, methodology and discussion. We won't go in that detail, but I'm just going to simply show you how you can just simply make a structure first and then put everything in the poster in your poster. So I'm just quickly going to make a new poster over here. So I will just press Ctrl and N and then I have a new slide here. So first of all, I will just show you what are the orientations that you can keep. So go to insert option or go to design option, slide size, custom slide size, put width as 47 and height as 35 and then say landscape, landscape and OK. So now once you are done with this one, you will have a simple uh, layout like this one. OK, so now first of all, which you, what you have to do is that we have to make a little bit of uh, portions in our poster. So how we can do that one. First of all, we are going to draw the margins. OK. So I'm just going to take a square just to uh, see what are what is the area I can work in and I can divide my poster into different areas. So this is a fill so I will just, I will just keep it no color so that I can on, only see what are the areas I'm going to work in and what is the area which is uh, allowable to work uh, work in. Uh, in short it means that what is my workspace okay. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit I'm going to make sure that I have three columns and three columns can equally fit in. So I'm going to delete this one and make sure that all three columns are same width and same width and everything is equal. So now you can see that we have a little bit sp extra space here and a little bit extra space here. So what I can do is I can move it a little bit here so that they are equal. Increase the size a little bit which is now let's say 14.29. This one I'm going to make it 14.29 also similar with that one. And similarly I'm going to make this one 14.29 also so that they all have the same orientation. Okay, so once you're done with this one, now you can just select all of them, control A, go to arrange, align, and distribute horizontally. So now, as you see, you cannot see any movement, that means they're already aligned. So go to shape format, I'm just going to change the color so that I can see it more prominently. Now, first of all, we're going to work with the heading, okay? So now, I have a poster here, which says that your poster title here, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy this one, just for an example, so that you, you know how does this works, okay? So now I'm just going to copy all the contents over here, control C. I'm going to go back here, put this slide here so that it is easy for me to move to the next slide and the previous slide. I can easily handle those. Okay, let's just copy this title first. I will go here, copy this one, go back here and paste. Now, first of all, this one has a little bit of text. So I'm going to replace it with a simple. I'm just going to paste it as a text. You can see it here, it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it a little bit big so that it is more visible. I'm going to make it bold. Normally I use Century Gothic as a font which is more prominent for me. I'm just going to use it here like this. I'm going to change this color to a more bright color which is more visible. And then after that I'm going to work on the author names. So these are my author names. And then it says the University of Finlay. Okay. So now let's see how we are going to make this part a little bit more interactive. So go to shapes. Take a shape here and put a shape over here like this. I will zoom in a little bit so that you can easily see what I'm going to do. Change this outline to no outline and change this color to a little bit more vibrant color. Let's see, we are going to use this color for now and we are going to increase the width a little bit. Click on this one, control shift and you can see this cursor over here. Cl right click and drag it down. Now you have copied this one again. You can also do this simply control C copy and you can paste it wherever you want and you can do it easily. Okay. So I'm going to work on this one, say, let's say author one. Oh, let's say uh, names, uh, authors. Uh, so this is the main heading. I'm going to select this one, bring it here. I'm going to go over here and make sure it is not bold and a little bit smaller. Also, I need to change the color. Let's say we are going to make it white so that it can be more prominent. Then I'm going to work on this one like this. And then everything is easy. Copy this text, paste it here, change this font to color to black and then you can say author 1, author 2 and author 3. Whatsoever how many authors you have you can put it accordingly okay. So this comes my main heading for authors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and see how does it looks. Now as you can see that this looks too big in the size. So what we can do is we can select all, we can reduce the font 
and make sure that it doesn't look too big in comparison to the title so we need to work on this uh, the th size and everything based on our uh, overall looks okay so you don't have to look one thing or follow one guideline that I should have this much of text or I should have this much of font so you should see the overall picture of your poster how does it looks so if you have less content you need to increase the size a little bit if you have more content then you have to be within margins and see which size you can uh, which content you can include reduce your text something like this include more graphics to make it more visible now what I'm going to do is I'm going to <clears throat> so now once we are done with this one we are going to select these ones and we are going to control shift and drag it down over here for the university name so you can just write like this affiliation and you can just work on this part like this and uncheck this one increase the size for this one and then increase the space for this part now let's work on this part first and I'm going to reduce the size so that it fits in and now bring it here now what you can do is you can change the color for the background let's make it a little bit more blue this time when once you have like this one now you have a different things now it makes it more prominent uh, how does it looks okay so now what one thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide this video into different sections so that you can you don't get bored watching all all the video at once so you can check out the different parts one by one so that it doesn't bothers you much and you can easily watch it so guys I'm going to reduce it now and University of Finland let's say just an example okay we're not going to work that much in detail okay so now this is the first thing now once you're done with this one we're going to select this one drag it down and now we are going to work with the first thing which is our abstract okay abstract comes first now just keep watching it is going to be very simple and very small video and it's going to be very quick simple technique just follow what I'm saying and you will be uh, you will be very successful in making posters very easily and very, very less time. So now let's go here. This is our first setting. We are going to take, copy this text. Okay, we are just going to simply uh, select all, copy this one, go back here and paste this as a paste this as a text. Okay. So now you see that your text is over here. Now what you can do is put it like this. Now, one thing every time you have to do is that you need to see whether your text is uh, readable or not for at this point the text is not that much readable the title is clear this is clear now I need to increase the text for this one first of all I need to bring the font with the same as I have in my title and in my abstract then I'm going to justify it so that it is equal with this length and then I'm going to increase the length and see if it's visible or it looks good or not so now at this point it looks something like this I don't want that much big so I'm going to reduce the size to 34 and see how it looks that also that is also not good I'm going to reduce it further and then see how it looks so that means the text should be somewhere around 32 to 33 to make it look more better now in order to uh, just make it look better normally abstract don't have paragraphs so I'm just going to remove those and save that space for here okay so now once we are done with this one I will show you later how you can modify these in the different parts so now select this one control shift and down right click and you have your second part so First of all, you're going to drag it down and you can also notice that I'm just working within my boundaries. So now this, this next topic is introduction. I'm going to go here, type here introduction here, uh, introduction. So for introduction, let's say we have a different text this time. So now I'm going to copy this one. Actually, it's just the same text. So I'm just going to keep this text over here. So that means this is my abstract. This is my introduction. Now moving towards the second and uh, the third step, which is case description same text everywhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one control shift and down okay now remember one thing make sure that your headings don't come in the end so if some heading is coming down you need to adjust that by adding an infographic or adding some images okay I will show you how, how how what do I what do I mean by this one and how to solve this problem so this comes a case description part let's just remove some of the text from here and make sure that uh, this let's assume that this section only contains this much of uh, text so now once you are done with this one it might look like this is too textual it doesn't have anything it all depends on your thinking how you can change anything if you have different uh, text words if you have different text something like uh, this one just says nothing so we can't do anything for this one particularly but we can have some different options based on our text that we use for example if you're using working in chemical then you can use some chemical equipments or something like some pipettes or some flasks something like that so now I'm going to work on this part which is interventions so so far now we only have same things and we can we are just working with that, that part we don't have much to do so just to save time I'm just trying to do that uh, is uh, I'm just trying to 
keep everything simple and not uh, work more on it because I just want you to guys to know how you can simply change this thing and how you can simply uh, improve uh, your poster making skills and make your poster in less time so it all it is all about time if you uh, if you do for the first time it might take you a bit more time but when you are done it will be more quick in the next time okay so now let's go we have these images we are going to uh, copy one by one so let's say we copy this one first we go back here and paste it here so now we put this graph here we're going to zoom in a little bit to see how it looks put it back here like this so that it fits everything now this part doesn't look here because it has an empty space so what we are going to do is click here and say that make my uh, legend not on the top but rather on the bottom so in this way my graph looks much better than the previous one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select this one I'm going to make it to the same font as my uh, poster increase the size for this one so that it is visible and then similarly for this one same thing change the font first and then increase the font to 32 which is same as this one so just select this one make it 32 so that it matches all the uh, size and simply change this one to 32 and change to century gothic so now if you want your uh, series to come here you can also do that if you want your title to come here you can also do that it all depends on your imagination it all depends on you how you want to deal with your uh, video graph or your infographics you are using in your uh, in your uh, in your poster or anything okay so if you want you can also delete it just to make sure that it has a uh, plain background but currently it doesn't seem to be deleted so I'm not going to use it so let's just ignore this one for, for the time being. We are just going to consider this one. Now this, let's say, is an explanation for the graph that we used over here. And I'm just going to copy this text here, drag it here, and I'm going to paste the text that I copied from there over here. Okay, now once you go here, let's say this is an explanation for the text, and you can see that now it looks much uh, better and much uh, looks much cooler than before.